Hello everyone, hi, I'm Jane, I will be the host of today's webinar and we are ready to start. We continue the series of live webinars about Yandex Direct and Yandex Metrica and uh, after every single webinar we asking you what we should discuss next and you asked a lot about different types of bidding strategies and that's why we choose for today that theme and today we will talk a lot about different bidding strategies. First of all, I want to say that I today I choose to be focused only on type and image ads uh, campaign uh, because uh, from that type of campaign you can create search campaign and ad network campaign, the most common types of campaign which are used by our clients and that's why I choose to be focused on that type campaign of campaign. And uh, if you will run other types of campaign, you will use actually the same uh, logic, uh, how you will choose right strategy and set uh, the settings up. And that's why we will talk about that today. Other thing, uh, I can divide all bidding strategies onto big category. First, that is manual bid strategy when you should uh, by yourself set the amount of bidding on uh, targeting level uh, and analyze the data and control uh, bidding process and change bids every time. Or you can use automated bid strategy or as we can say about them like smart bidding strategies and uh, the system will help you to uh, raise or decrease bids according to uh, how high probability of uh, that potential uh, customer to convert to order for example. And actually, I choose to be focused more today on automated bid strategy and I want to explain myself uh, why we will talk more about them. Uh, first of all, automated bid strategy can take into account a lot of signals about everything. Uh, who that person who is, for example, typing search query, uh, where that person located now, uh, how he is usually behave himself, uh, which uh, campaign settings do we have, even the weather. And we can't take into account all that signals by ourselves. It's just impossible. But if we use automated B strategy, the system uh, which see all the signals help us to uh, change our bids according to that. Other thing which I really like about smart bidding uh, because it helps uh, save our time. Uh, automatic bid strategy saves a lot of time and you can spend that time to, for example, analyzing data, to creating some new hypothesis or in taste exam. Uh, you can spend that time on improving your landing page and etc etc and that is really important and uh, the main thing that uh, with them you will uh, stay more focused on your business value and your business profit and I think that is really great and actually with automatic bid strategy we can achieve better result if we will talk about average situation which you can gain with them that would be around 25 percent of additional conversions and you can reduce in a half uh, cost per action and uh, we have a lot of different client cases and Yelena now will send to you some links with uh, specific client cases. Some of them would be on English, some of them would be on Russian. Uh, you can by yourself just uh, find out how uh, clients could uh, switch from manual B strategy to automatic B strategy and uh, what result uh, you can achieve with that. But again, if we talk about average result, you can see that on the slide and I think that is enough reasons to at least try them. Uh, today we would talk a lot about business strategies and we would do that in a three steps. Uh, first of all, we will uh, explore with you in a live demo in real Yandex interface uh, which uh, bidding strategies do we have in Yandex Direct and we will talk about how we should choose the right strategy for our campaign. After that, we will go to the second step and I will uh, give to you more details about how the system works and what we should know before we will start our uh, automated bid strategy and how we should prepare campaign uh, for that. 
And uh, on the last step, we will talk about that, what we should do after the running bee strategy. And as a bonus on the last step, I will show you the technology which we have in Genz Direct, which help us to run A-B test. Uh, I hope you will stay and enjoy today's session and let's dive into our first part. I want to start that part from dividing all types of strategy on three types and uh, I would do that based on which uh, parameter strategy help us to optimize. Uh, strategy can help us optimize clicks, conversions or return on investments and actually we have a lot of strategy for every uh, that parameter and let's dive into real interface and look uh, how we can set up right setting for that. That is our Yandex Direct interface um, and as you know uh, bid strategy should be chosen on campaign level and for that we should go to the uh, campaign settings page and for that I would choose for example that campaign and you should press on the gear button and choose from the drop down menu option edit. On um, campaign settings page uh, we have special block which named strategy and bid strategy should be chosen here. Uh, as you know, and as I said today, uh, you can uh, create from text and image ads type of campaign, search campaign, ad network campaign, and actually can run in a mix. Uh, and here you can choose that option, but I recommend you to split campaigns and create separately search and net network campaign. Um, let's uh, start exploring our bid strategy from manual bid uh, type of bid strategy. Uh, for me, actually, manual bid strategy also about optimizing clicks, uh, but here that uh, shown separately, uh, choose uh, which type of bid strategy you need. After that, you can choose attribution model and you should uh, set up some additional parameters, like uh, choose which uh, budget spending mod you would use. Uh, by default that is standard budget uh, mod, uh, but we have also distribu distributed mod. Uh, you can use this distributed mod uh, if you need to control how uh, money is spending during the day uh, and uh, do that uh, really equally through hours, but I recommend you to stick actually with standard uh, budget spending because uh, that will help you to attract uh, more clients and not uh, be inside of that limitation. Also for manual B strategy you should uh, choose some uh, uh, limitation like uh, day budget cap. Uh, for example I can choose that budget cap uh, and when you're done with settings you should uh, press the done button and uh, go down to that page and press the save to uh, applies it uh, settings for real campaign. Um, I think you take notice that uh, we have um, manual bit management with optimization. With optimization, okay, let's discuss what does that mean and how we can control that optimization. Actually, when you use manual bit strategies, the system also help a little bit to achieve a better result. And system are in every situation do that based on uh, average knowledge about your business type uh, because system uh, help to attract more engaged uh, people. But actually you can help to the system uh, understand uh, who is uh, people which you want to attract by your campaign uh, and for that you should use uh, Yandex metric tracking and priority goals and actually let's uh, just explore how we can create connection of Yandex Metrica with Yandex Direct and uh, gain that information about conversions to the system. 
I think uh, you know Yandex Metrica, that is our free analytics tools. You can uh, track conversions uh, with that system. And for that, you should create Yandex Metrica tag. And uh, after that, you should create connection between Yandex Direct and Yandex Metrica uh, to uh, give information from Yandex Metrica to Yandex Direct. And for that, in a block of Yandex Metrica tag, you should choose from drop down menu. Yandex Metric Attack, which uh, would be used uh, for your campaign, and uh, turn on tag links for Yandex Metric and press Apply button. After that, you can go to the block with priority goals, and uh, in that block, uh, you would give information to the system what uh, is your uh, potential customer, how we can describe that uh, for the system. And as you can see, by default, here is used engaged sessions that is average uh, client for your type of business. But if you uh, have tracking of uh, conversions with Yandex Direct, you can gain uh, more details about that. And for that, just press Add a Priority Goal button and choose a goal from drop-down menu. Uh, for me, that is uh, that one goal. And here you should also uh, choose uh, value of your goal and uh, based on that system, we'll, we'll understand how that conversion is important for your business. Uh, if you uh, choose at least one goal, you can delete engagement sessions and press the done button. Uh, that uh, was all about how we should set up manual strategy if you use, uh, for some reasons, that strategy. Uh, but as I said, uh, automated business strategy can gain us a uh, better result and let's explore them. I want to start from click optimization because that uh, types of strategies are more likened to manual business strategy because that also all about optimization of uh, amount or cost uh, of your click. Uh, as you can see here, we have three options here, average CPC, weekly budget and click package. When you choose average CPC, uh, you will give to the system information about what CPC you want to have as an average after a week and system would uh, try to attract people inside of that limitation as uh, many as uh, system can. Uh, when you use weekly budget, you will uh, set up a budget cap for week and a uh, system would help to attract as many people as system can, but inside of that limitation. And uh, obviously with uh, low uh, CPC as system can. And if we will choose click package uh, to, uh, to our campaign, the system will help to attract a specific amount of uh, clicks during the week. And uh, don't matter which budget would be spent uh, to attract that uh, amount of uh, clicks and uh, which CPC we would have uh, as a result. I want to remind one uh, little thing which uh, could be a really important. Every time when we're talking about something weekly, that means uh, we're uh, talking about calendar week from Monday to Saturday. That means uh, if you, for example, run your campaign with weekly budget in the middle of a uh, week, for example, uh, at, the, at Wednesday, uh, all weekly budget would be spent uh, until uh, the uh, Saturday and uh, in the Monday uh, your budget would be restart. Uh, just remember about that when you use uh, weekly budget and weekly packages also. Um, as you can see here for every that uh, type of strategy we can choose which attribution model we want to have. For example, I usually stick with uh, last vision from uh, Yandex Direct. And uh, for every type of strategy, you can have some additional limitations. For example, for average CPC, you can set up additional budget cap. Uh, for weekly budget, you can set up uh, additional limitation, for example, for cost per click. And for click packages, you can limit both of that. And uh, actually, you can use that limitation, and that is okay if uh, to you really important to control that parameters, but 
I will not recommend you to uh, make that limitations too tight because uh, that would uh, create some additional difficulties to the system and a system sometimes just cannot attract uh, the desired result for your campaign if you have to tie limitations. And as you can see for all that uh, types of strategies uh, with click optimization, we do not uh, set up some goals. Uh, we do not uh, give to the system information about what is our conversions actually. Uh, that means uh, for that type of strategies, our priority goals, which we set up on the last, uh, on the previous step, uh, also will be used as a information for optimization. Uh, set here what a uh, system should uh, take into account as a conversions, and uh, system will help you to achieve better result. That was all about click optimization, and let's actually go to the next. Uh, my favorite uh, types of strategies, which is conversion optimization. Um, I usually use that type of strategies because they uh, gain as uh, the best result. And we have uh, two different types of conversion optimization strategies. First type that is average CPA, or as we can say about that, like target CPA. And we have uh, weekly budget uh, strategy. Let's uh, start from average CPA. Uh, obviously, uh, for that uh, strategy, you should limit your uh, CPA. Uh, for example, you can choose uh, amount of your target CPA, which you want to uh, see as a result for that campaign. And here, uh, you should choose uh, which uh, goal should be used from Yandex Metrica as the conversions for optimizing that campaign. You can choose uh, one goal from drop down menu. For example, uh, in my case, I would choose that one. Or you can choose uh, all goals. Uh, if you have, for example, uh, two conversions like uh, fill in the form and calls from your call tracking. And uh, you can, for that case, choose all goals. Uh, for that type of strategy, you also can set up some additional limitations. Here you can limit uh, and uh, set up some budget cap for week, uh, like that, for example. And here you also uh, limit a uh, cost per click. Uh, again, you can use that limitations, uh, but I will uh, not recommend you to use limitation for cost per click. Uh, if uh, really need to use a uh, budget cap, use that, but again, remember uh, not to set to tie limitation. And after maybe 10 minutes, I will uh, say a little bit more about why we should uh, have that uh, budget cap. Um, let's uh, look at the weekly budget. A weekly budget strategy is a really great strategy if you don't know how many conversions you can gain from that campaign or maybe you didn't find out what target CPA you want to have uh, from that campaign. Here you also should choose uh, one goal uh, for optimization or all goals from Yandex Metrica. And uh, here for weekly budget, you should definitely set up a weekly budget. As you can see, you also can limit uh, cost per click, but I will not recommend you to use that limitation. Um, okay, actually, uh, I think now we're ready to move to the last type of uh, strategy, which is optimize uh, return on investment. Here we have only one option. Uh, for that uh, strategy, actually system help us to attract as many conversions as system can, but inside of the limitation of return on investment. And uh, for correctly working that campaign, you should give information not only about conversions, you should, you should give information about conversion value. You can do that uh, by different ways. You can do that in Yandex Metrica, or you can uh, add that information in priority goal uh, box also. As you remember, we set their conversion value. Uh, for that type of uh, campaign strategy, you should choose uh, which goals uh, would be used for optimizing that campaign. Again, you can choose uh, one um, 
conversion from that drop down list you can choose all goals or you can choose all priority goals and in all, all priority goals on priority box you can choose for example two different uh, types of uh, conversion and set the different conversion value okay uh, definitely for that type of strategy we should set up some limitation for return on investment uh, when you start do that uh, some additional information would be shown to you and help you to uh, think about what amount of uh, ROI you should uh, set up uh, one thing uh, set the realistic uh, return on investment parameter because if you will, would stick with too high return on investment campaign can be just uh, too limit and uh, maybe not start uh, stick with some real limitation like that for example one and a half also here you can choose some additional parameters for that campaign uh, you can uh, choose uh, which reinvest uh, in advertising you want to uh, have uh, you can stick with 100% or you can choose other uh, parameter uh, also choose which attribution model uh, should be used for that campaign and you have advanced settings where you can set up some additional limitation for that campaign uh, for example like uh, uh, cost per uh, click limitation and budget cap but for that uh, type of strategy i will not recommend you to set some additional limitations enough uh, uh, set up roi and uh, which goals should be used for optimization Again, uh, when you are fully done with a uh, whole settings for your strategy in strategy box, uh, press done button. And uh, for applying that uh, changes to real campaign, you should go down and press to the save button. Okay, uh, now we actually explored all uh, different uh, types of bidding strategies which we have in Yandex Direct and i want to a little bit sum up that information for you and uh, for choosing right strategy for your campaign you should answer to two questions uh, about your campaign what is the main goal of your campaign what you should optimize in that campaign clicks conversions or return on investments and second uh, question is what is uh, Para which parameter you should control in that campaign, what parameter you want to limit on that campaign. And uh, based on that information, you can choose right strategy for your campaign. That was uh, our first part. Uh, now we know which uh, type of, uh, types of bid strategy we have. Let's uh, dive into our second part and talk a little bit more in details about how the system works. Uh, for me, Actually, all smart bidding strategies, all automatic bidding strategy, just uh, they are like a black box, and uh, the inside of that black box uh, is placed artificial intelligence, which analyzed a lot of signals uh, from a campaign, from a person uh, who we're bidding for, and uh, based on that signals, uh, the system gives us a result. Uh, some amount of bid. Uh, we can uh, actually influence on campaigns information because we can't influence on information about our potential customer and I want to uh, talk with you uh, about what we can do about that campaign information to improve performance of our campaign. First of all I would divide all that campaign information into two uh, parts First of all, and really important part of information, that information about what is uh, our conversions for that campaign. Uh, and other part, other campaign settings, uh, which also influence on our final result. And uh, let's start from uh, talking about our conversions. As I said before, uh, for tracking conversions, we have special free analytics tools uh, which is Yandex Metrica and I hope you are using that uh, tool for improving performance of your campaign. Uh, to track uh, conversions you should, you should first of all set up Yandex Metrica tag on 
every single page of your website uh, you should uh, use tracking conversions as a goals uh, with Yandex Metrica after that you should connect Yandex Metrica with Yandex Direct to uh, tra transfer that information uh, to Yandex Direct about conversions and uh, I have shown to you how you can do that and uh, specific for your campaign you should set up in priority goals or maybe on settings of your bid strategy what a specific uh, goal uh, should be used uh, to uh, optimizing your campaign and uh, for that you should choose which goals uh, would be used um, I think that is uh, obvious that uh, if we have more conversions uh, we would have a better result uh, but uh, sometimes uh, for some types of businesses we do not have uh, uh, a lot of conversions we have some conversions and a really often question which I uh, hear from my clients how much conversions we should have to start our automated B strategy and actually actually we have that amount uh, recommended minimum is 10 conversions per week for one campaign um, but what we should do if we do not have that 10 conversions per week uh, we can't use uh, automated B strategy in that case actually it's not true and we can use uh, in that case um, uh, automated B strategy also uh, if you have less than 10 conversions per week uh, and you have some uh, sales funnel you can just go upper on one two or three steps and uh, until you will achieve uh, 10 conversions per week from that step I use that approach uh, for one of my clients and actually we achieve together great result we maximize our conversions and that is worked uh, if you have the same situation just try the, that approach and I hope you will also have uh, the great result um, other thing uh, which I also often hear from clients okay uh, we understand about 10 conversions per week but that is new campaign and actually we don't know how much uh, conversions from that campaign we could gain and uh, which target CPA uh, we would have as a result and uh, for that situation I would recommend you to try uh, conversion optimization with weekly budget and just find out that information other a really important question which I uh, want to discuss with you and I start talking about that uh, on the previous tab uh, which budget cap we should uh, set up for our campaigns if we use budget cap uh, now we know that uh, we should have more than 10 conversions per week okay at least 10 conversions per week and usually we know uh, what target CPA uh, uh, for one conversion we have uh, from that we can calculate uh, the minimum budget which is 10 times of our target CPA uh, but actually I recommend you to stick with a little bit higher budget limit uh, like 1.5 of your 10 uh, target CPAs uh, because uh, if you will um, use uh, uh, not uh, so big budget cap sometimes system would be uh, too tight uh, with limitations and uh, the system will be really difficult to bid for some specific really profitable for your client and you can just lose that client and uh, to avoid the situation just uh, set up a little bit higher budget cap we discussed a lot about uh, how many conversions we should have and let's discuss about uh, how we can influence uh, on our campaign settings how we should prepare our campaign to achieve uh, at the end the better result uh, let's uh, do that I would uh, show to you some um, milestones in that process what we should think about when we prepare on our campaign and uh, let's start from our campaign structure like uh, because I think that is the basic information which we should think when we're preparing our campaign 
uh, you can achieve better result if you have different types of uh, traffic with different target CPA uh, if you will split that uh, traffic to different campaigns for example as uh, usual practice uh, for Russia for example you would divide Moscow from other part of uh, Russia because Moscow region uh, generated uh, more expensive uh, conversions uh, also uh, better to divide brand competitors uh, traffic from general traffic also uh, if you have really wide product categories you also should divide some types of product from another type to achieve better result but one thing which really important to remember about that we should have 10 conversion per week for every single campaign if we will not have that amount of conversions after dividing uh, different types of traffic uh, better not divide the traffic because uh, at the end you would have better result uh, with automatic strategy than with manual but uh, with divided campaigns other main milestones which uh, should be uh, taken in mind uh, that uh, how high quality uh, as you have uh, in your campaign uh, try to create as good ads as you can think about which unique unique selling points uh, which offer you have uh, on your ads how that offer is differ from offers of your competitors uh, how uh, information uh, which uh, your potential customer can see from ads to landing page is uh, consistent and um, if you will create as good ads as you can you will achieve better result at the end and uh, last thing which I want to remind you about preparing your campaign really important thing not only about campaign uh, also uh, on the final result uh, really influence how high quality of our landing page how that landing page can convert our potential customers to customers to our orders think about uh, how fast your web pages is loading uh, how a uh, high conversion rate you have uh, what again information unique selling points and offers you are using on your web pages think about that optimize that and you also uh, with uh, that will achieve better result that was all about how uh, we should prepare our campaigns and what we should take into our mind when we uh, thinking about start uh, using automatic strategy but what we should do after we run them and when we should and when we can actually first uh, analyze uh, our first result let's uh, start from um, talking about uh, when we can analyze first result uh, again that scheme of our uh, system how the system work uh, we talked a lot about how important uh, information which uh, collected by the system because based on the system uh, would be uh, predict which uh, person would be profitable for your business and uh, really important uh, amount of the data because uh, our strategy should have enough information to optimize your campaign and based on that we can understand that we have some learning period uh, for our campaign during that period campaign would collect data about your customers and would learn how uh, the system could attract more and more profitable clients for your business usually uh, that period is around two weeks uh, it's not a solid uh, time uh, actually if you have a lot of conversions that time could be a shortly uh, but really important not change anything during the learning period and just give some time to the system to learn and to improve your campaign I said uh, thing that you shouldn't change anything in your campaign and on your landing page during that time period because if you change for example budget cap uh, target CPA or something else a system would restart and that learning period would start from scratch 
and uh, you should wait more uh, two weeks after that. Uh, to avoid the situation, just stick with your first uh, settings and just give to the system some time. Other uh, really often question which I asked by my clients, uh, we run our campaign, uh, but campaign can't spend our budget. Uh, we should spend that budget and attract uh, customers to our website, but campaign is uh, not going on well. And uh, for that situation, I will recommend really a simple thing, just change limitations for your campaign. If campaign is not spending enough uh, weekly budget, that means uh, you set up so uh, some too tight limitations. Raise cost per click if you uh, set the limitation for that. Raise uh, cost per action. And uh, sometimes uh, you should add some uh, targeting like some additional keywords, for example, if that is search campaign um, and your budget cap would be spent and conversions uh, would be attracted. Other thing, uh, if we run our campaign and actually everything is going well and we spend all weekly budget, I recommend you to just uh, raise campaign budget and uh, attract more customers to your website. I think that would be great. Uh, from that slide, we would discuss uh, how we can work with our campaign after the running bid strategy and uh, what the main points where we can control campaign and how we can adjust our campaign to achieve better result. And third th first thing which I want to discuss with you, that is search query report. As you know, you can use that report to gain new ideas for keywords and negative keywords and I have some my small technique which I'm using uh, when I'm working with that uh, report. Uh, if I'm trying to uh, find out a new negative keywords, I'm add in that report uh, bounce rate and uh, I sort search queries with worst bounce rate higher and uh, look through them uh, for negative keywords. Otherwise, if I'm trying to uh, find new keywords, I'm just sort uh, to the top. The most popular uh, is uh, as impressions, uh, search queries and uh, look uh, inside of them. Uh, you also can use that and save time with uh, work with search query. Other thing uh, which you uh, should think about uh, to improve the performance of your campaign, that is quality of your ads. Actually, uh, no one can create the best uh, ads uh, from the scratch and uh, better to run A-B test with uh, different uh, ads. You can uh, test, for example, pictures, headlines, descriptions, and etc. etc. And uh, if you uh, testing that, you can use uh, two different technologies. You can uh, add two different ads uh, inside of one ad group and uh, use some tracking parameter like UTM content ads one and ads two and uh, analyze the data after, for example, a couple of weeks. Or you can uh, use a special uh, technology in Yandex Direct and I today will show you that technology and run A-B test uh, with two different campaigns with uh, different uh, ads and look what would be better for your business. Other thing um, which usually are uh, used for optimizing campaign, that is beta adjustments. But actually, if you're using automatic B strategy, you should be uh, really careful about adding it, editing uh, your beta adjustment to campaign because, okay, let's uh, discuss why actually. I prepared some example. Uh, for example, you run, um, bid strategy with uh, optimization of conversion with target CPA, you give to the system information about what is your leads. And uh, after analyzing the result, you see that some segment of audience have a really uh, a great uh, cost per action and you want to maximize that uh, segment of your audience. In that situation, what you usually would do, you would raise uh, uh, bits for that uh, with using positive bit adjustments like 
30%, for example. But actually, what, what would happen in the situation if you using automated B strategy? System would see that uh, is profitable uh, segment uh, of audience for you, and system would also raise bid uh, for that uh, type of uh, audience. And as a result, we would have two positive bid adjustments, and as a result, uh, we can just um, have two hot and two high target uh, CPA and average CPA uh, on that campaign. But how we can actually use our bid adjustment to achieve better result with automated bid strategy? Uh, let's imagine the situation when we again have a campaign with conversion optimization uh, with average CPA. Uh, we see that our uh, leads uh, is uh, going great and we have really uh, well uh, cost per action but uh, the system uh, don't know information about how that leads convert to our orders for example and when we analyzing results from a CRM system we see that orders uh, cost for us more from that uh, type of audience in that situation system would raise uh, for that type of audience bid but if we know that type of audience are not good converted to our orders uh, we can add some negative uh, bit adjustments and give to the system just additional information and by that we would improve performance of our campaign and achieve better result. Uh, just uh, remember about that and use bit adjustments really wisely. Actually, we talked a lot uh, today about different types of bid adjustments. I said a lot about automatic bid adjustment and how you can gain additional result with that. But maybe you still have some concerns about that. Maybe you still have some doubts. And in that case, I have two additional uh, pieces of information which I want to give to you. Uh, first of all, for every automatic bid strategy, we have some additional limitations which are preset. Uh, first of all, uh, bid cannot be raised higher than 10% of weekly budget. That means we have uh, by default limitations for cost per click. Also, by default, we have some limitations for daily budget because during one day, campaign cannot spend more than 35% of your weekly budget and that is budget cap. Other thing uh, which I want to remind you, uh, uh, we have in our system really solid budget cap. If you choose, for example, 100 for one day, uh, system cannot spend more than that 100. And that is really, really uh, comfortable to using and uh, you're also protecting by that from overspending. But as you remember, for every type of campaign strategy, we have some limitations and if that Preset limitations are not enough for you. Uh, you can use additional limitations. You can limit daily budget, for example. But again, remember not to set too tight that limitations because for system, uh, if you will uh, use, for example, a uh, too small daily budget uh, or weekly budget, would be really difficult to attract uh, people during the day because sometimes system, if uh, see a really profitable customer, would bid for that more and more. Uh, other thing, if you have some concerns and you don't know what would be profitable for that campaign, for specific for your business, you can uh, compare manual B strategy and automatic B strategy. Uh, for that, you can run A-B test in spe special uh, Yandex Direct uh, technology. And let's go to Yandex Direct and Yandex Audience Instrument and find out how we can do that. Uh, for that, I will switch back to our Yandex Direct. Uh, up here in the left uh, corner, uh, I would choose Audience. That is special instrument uh, in Yandex which help us to work with uh, different audience. Uh, for example, run uh, campaigns for segment from uh, CRM, for example. And uh, here we need to uh, choose Experiment tab. 
For create new experiment, if we want to uh, compare manual and automatic based strategy for a campaign, press the create experiment button and uh, choose name for that experiment. For example, that would be a search campaign manual 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 with auto. Uh, you should choose which Yandex Matic attack would be used to creating and running that experiment. And after that, here you should choose how you want to run that uh, experiment. You can divide all uh, audience 50-50 uh, or you can choose uh, other splits, but I prefer actually to stick with 50-50. Create a segment experiment okay and after that we should go back to yandex direct and prepare and run our experiment you can do that by choosing direct here uh, and for example let's uh, create experiment for that campaign uh, if you want to create experiment uh, for that parent campaign you should stop that parent campaign copy that uh, twice and in new uh, two campaigns, you should choose in experiment block uh, that uh, segment from Yandex audience. And after that, change settings uh, in the campaign settings, for example. I will not copy actually campaign. I will just uh, go uh, deep down and uh, show to you how you should choose that experiment. In advanced settings, uh, we have experiment block and if that campaign connected uh, to Yandex Metrica, you can do that. Uh, choose targeting by segment and choose which uh, segment would be used to create that experiment. Uh, press done button and after that, remember, go to campaign settings uh, and, uh, for example, choose strategy which would be tested like ROI by manual B strategy, for example. Uh, and you should do that for both campaign, uh, run, run them at the same time and wait a little bit. And after that, you can analyze the result and decide what actually uh, uh, with statistic would be profitable more for your business. That was all for today. I want to a little bit sum up all that information. Uh, first of all, I really like automatic B strategy and I encourage you to try them, especially if you have a lot of conversions. Uh, automatic B strategy help us uh, achieve better results and save more time and stay more focused on our business profit. Uh, for choosing right strategy for your campaign, you should think about uh, two parameters, what you want to optimize uh, in your campaign and what you want to control in your campaign. And uh, remember, really important how you prepared your campaign and how you're working with your campaign after running this strategy, because from that also a result would be really uh, depend on it. Uh, save the time and analyze data, uh, try new hypotheses and uh, improve other uh, performance of your campaign. That, I think, last call for questions. And uh, now Yelena will give to me the list of most popular questions and uh, we will discuss them together. Now we have three questions. Let's discuss that. First question about priority goals. How does it affect on performance of our campaign? If we use that or not? and uh, which uh, cases we have for that. Uh, I would go back to Yandex Direct interface and uh, show to you again uh, that uh, block with priority goal. Uh, we uh, using uh, with our system priority goal to uh, give to the system additional information about what uh, what are your goals of your campaign? What conversions should be taken into account to optimize the performance of our campaign? And priority goals uh, works for all different uh, bidding strategies. Inside, uh, if we not uh, have uh, uh, goals inside of that bid strategy in the strategy box, uh, you can uh, run that types of strategy without priority goals but you can achieve 
better result if you will use priority goals because the system will uh, better understand who that client which should be attracted by your campaign. And uh, if you have and set up here uh, conversion value, system would uh, be understand uh, which goal more valuable to you and uh, take that also into account and help to achieve better result uh, at the end. I hope I answered that question. Uh, second question is about weekly budget. Is that possible to add an exclusion for certain days? Uh, I'm sorry, no. If you're using a weekly budget, you set up uh, some limitation for one week. Uh, you can uh, use, if you use manual B strategy, some additional bit adjustment and uh, uh, play which, with, uh, with which bits would be used for a specific day. Uh, but if you use automatic B strategy, uh, and you use a uh, weekly budget, actually system would understand by himself uh, how bits should be adjusted for that day. If in that day, uh, if customers in that day will not be profitable to you. Um, a second part of that question, you can uh, some uh, you can use impression shuttle if you need, for example, accept the day uh, but otherwise use just a uh, weekly budget. And last our question is about CPA strategy. Um, in what spheres I would recommend to use that automatic bid strategy? Actually, I have a lot of clients and with uh, majority of my clients are using average CPA strategy because I think that uh, more popular and more effective strategy and for this strategy uh, you shouldn't know your conversion value because sometimes clients have problems with that. Um, uh, I will recommend you to run that type of strategy and at least try the type of strategy for every, every single type of business uh, because I know a lot of cases from uh, like uh, sales vehicles, some IT structures and etc. etc. And you just uh, can try that and uh, find out how that would be really work uh, for your type of business. Just remember about having enough uh, conversions for one campaign and do not uh, uh, interact learning period of campaign. That all. Uh, we had three questions and I think that is all. Uh, if we do not have uh, more questions for today, I want to say thank you for sticking with us today. Thank you for coming. I hope you enjoy and thank you. Bye.